Hello guys, welcome to my new video and today we'll be looking at some of the add-ons to help you with managing your domination sets and guys There's probably a lot of people like me who just cannot take the amount of annoyance Changing domination sets can be when you're approaching mythic plus content when you're approaching raid content You know that triple and holy is really great when you do raid content when you swap the mythic plus bonuses don't work anymore and swapping that speed gem is going to increase your throughput but it's just too annoying to click it manage it find the piece and these add-ons here are going to simplify the process in such a way that you no longer will fear or you will optimize your gear for mythicus and red so like i mentioned at the start of the video it's all about managing your domination gear it's all about managing which sets you're going to use for mythic plus and raids and like i mentioned it is really annoying you can have a lot of these shards and like Clicking the piece, taking it out, removing it, adding the right sets can be really daunting. And this add-on, honestly, it's the most simplistic add-on you can ever get. Once you install it, you can just go to your add-on sections and you'll, you should see it here loaded. Domination Socket Helper. Because it does not have an option screen for it. Or at least I haven't found it yet. Because it is just so minimalistic. So, you go to your gear set and we're going to be adding a set for raid. So you can see right now I have an unholy piece, I have a leech piece, which is the blood, I have a shield from frost, and then I have two more unholy to complete my triple unholy set, plus leech, plus shield, pretty good in raid content. What you do, you just click on any of these pieces, any of those, it really doesn't matter, and it can be like, okay... This set is really great. Now, first of all, you can, you can notice the little things. You notice a little button here, remove. So this add-on makes removing and adding domination gems a lot easier. You can click remove. This is going to open your bag and you can be like, okay, I'm going to add my... You can see the list of the domination gems that are already here. And you can just click on it and say, okay, I'm going to add it, apply it. So by default, the management of the gems is a lot easier. Now... I feel that the set that I currently have equipped is my set for raids. So just click raid. I'm going to save this set as raid. Now, it, I'll talk about a weak order that notifies you whether you have the wrong set or the right set. But it is very important to name the sets in a, in a, in a way that you're going to remember. So save set raid. Now you have a raid set equipped. That's it. That's basically your raid set done. Now, how do I make a fireman set? So, for the fireman set, I have a lot of different alterations that I want to do. Like, for example, I like this damage attack and increases uh, your damage onto the target. I like this. I don't want leech for my mythic plus set, unfortunately. So, I'm just going to right click it. I'm going to click remove. And I'm going to add, in this case, I'm going to add domination shard of core. Your damage is increased by a certain amount for 20 seconds after attacking enemy. Okay, extra DPS. Nice. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to apply. Perfect. Now, another piece that I'm going to change again. I like the Absorb Shield. I'm going to keep the Absorb Shield because it's one of the best domination gems that you can get in Mythic Plus. Because it effectively adds to your H HP, which means you can survive one-shot abilities if there are any. So, the speed. I do not need the speed in Mythic Plus. So, I'm going to click on it again. I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to add, in this case, back. Your damage is increased by a certain amount when you have 50% of more health than your target. This is one of the this is one of the DPS increase shards that a lot of people are using. I'm gonna click apply. So now this is my set complete. You can see here I have a two unholy sets, one and two, which are DPS oriented. I have a DPS oriented blood shard. I have a DPS oriented uh, frost shard and then I have a shield which is a frost shard. I click on any of the domination pieces here, right click it. So now I feel like hey this is the right set and I'm going to click M plus and I'm going to save the set. So now I have M plus and raid. This is great. So now I have the mythic plus set enabled. What if I'm going to go to raid and I don't want this? I want my leech back. I want my my unholy triple setback you can right click on any of the pieces you can go into your raid and again there is going to be a certain amount of clicks required for you to do because blizzard doesn't allow automatic swapping without certain amount of actions it is something that uh, basically tracks back to world quest invites 
where Blizzard just wants you to click for whatever reason. So if you're going to go to raid, you're going to click on it. It's going to say remove back. It's going to remove that uh, shard, remove core. It's going to remove that. And you can see it here in my bags. And now I have the raid set equipped with just the use of two clicks because that's how my sets work. So now I have a raid set that has unholy, leech, shield, unholy, and unholy. Triple unholy, leech, and shield with a possibility of two clicks. If I want to go back to Mythic Plus, I click on any piece of gear that has domination. I go to Mythic Plus, remove Rev. It's removing, remove Alt. And now I have my Mythic Plus set. That's it. That's how simple it is to go from Mythic Plus to raid setup with basically a couple of clicks. You don't have to find it. Everything saved. And the add-on is so minimalistic that it has no performance issues on the computer. Like it is just so small and so it, it is awesome now what happens if i want to add a specific new shard to the set that's already existing and again this is somewhat intuitive so for example i have again equipped uh, at a given moment i have mythic plus set equipped i'm going to equip raid two clicks and i have my raid setup done perfect now what if i don't like for my raid setup i don't like this shield i don't want the shield anymore and instead of the shield i want to add something else so what you do is that you click on the piece that you want to remove. So right now I'm in my raid setup. That's important. The current gear that you have equipped, the shards that you have equipped, this kind of represents the current set or the set that you're going to be saving. So I remove the shield. Again, you, you probably never do it in raid situation, but I remove it. And I'm going to add, in this case, let's say I'm going to add a your critical hits cause a nearby ally to absorb, which is a decent one, but it's not as good. But I'm going to add Shadow of Tell. I'm going to go and apply now, what I'm going to do in order to save this set, I'm going to type in raid and it's going to give me an option because I already had the raid set and it's going to give me an option to update set. So now I update set and now I have a raid setup with a different set of basic shards. Now, I don't want this shard to be in my raid, so I'm just going to go back again. You right click it. I remove. I don't want this because I just did it for the purpose of the video. I want to go back to my good old, uh, good old gear. This is just insane. Gain and absorb. I click on this. I apply. I enter the name of the set that I want to update. And I currently have equipped as well to some extent. Raid. Update set. And I have it done. That's it. That's how you kind of flip flop between the different shards in a current set. If you want to update it, you most likely won't have to do it because a lot of the times the shards are so set in stone that you're just going to use one set for Mythic Plus and one set for Raid. So what if you're like me and you tend to forget which set you have currently on if you're approaching Raid or Mythic Plus content and you would like a reminder. And the author of the add-on made a weak order that helps you to check which set you have and with certain alterations or modifications, you can create one for Mythic Plus and Raid. So first of all, you need to have weak orders available and I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you have weak orders. I'll link this in the description below if you want to check it out. So you're going to click import and you're going to copy the code from the Wago site. Control C and you're going to control V here. And you can see it here, domination socket helper reminder. We're going to import this. So you can see here what it's going to look like. Check shards. This is perfect. So what it's going to do in this given moment. Again, we're going to go into domination socket helper. We're going to change a couple of things. I don't like the font. Again, I expressway is the way to go. I'm going to change this for Mythic Plus. So I'm going to type in Mythic Plus, check shards Mythic Plus. That's the way I'm going to do. What this week core is going to do is if you're entering five man content, so assuming Mythic Plus, it's going to check the add-on. It's going to check if you have M Plus set equipped at that given moment. So enter Mythic Plus content, checks if you have Mythic Plus set equipped. If you don't, it tells you a message. Check shards, you should equip Mythic Plus set. So the way that it does that, like I mentioned, you go to Domination Socket Helper, and then you go, again, you don't have to change any of this, but what you need to do is you need to go to Load. You need to double check the Load settings, and in here you can see here, Instant Size Type 5-Man Dungeon, so assuming Mythic Plus. So in 5-Man Dungeon, it's going to check. And in Custom Options, this is the important one. This is the set name. It's M+. This is where when you, like for example, we'll go back and check it out. So this is your Domination Socket Helper add-on. This is your current set. You right click on it. You're given an option and you can see here. Raid M+. This is the important part. If you're going to name the sets, 
make sure that those sets have the same name as this week order custom options because this week order is going to check your add-on and check your set so make sure it's named exactly same or you can change it make sure it's just basically has a link between these two add-ons so i'm gonna set it to mythic plus because my set is already m plus and we're basically just that's it that's all i need to know i'm going to rename this add-on and i'm going to rename it to reminder mythic plus the reason i'm doing this is because i want to have a reminder for raids as well and one of the easiest ways that i found is just duplicating this i'm sure there's better ways let me know but this is something that i've <laughs> i checked out so i just i'm just going to duplicate this and i'm going to name the add-on or the weak aura domination socket helper raid reminder raid now in this option i'm going to change the obviously the message we're going to change it to raid because this is going to do it's going to check when i enter raid content and if it's going to check my raid set so i'm in my domination socket helper raid week aura i go into load again the load option is wrong because it just checks for five months what i'm going to check is i'm, I'm going to untick this i'm going to go into my again i'm going to go into group and i'm going to set in raid so anytime i'm in a raid group this is going to check for my raid set or if you want to be a lot more specific again I feel like this is probably a better way to go about it. You can go into and set a zone ID. So there's a zone ID for raid, Sanctum Domination. It's G426. So you can click zone ID and type in G. Again, you can see it here, G426. And this should only load in Sanctum of Domination. What this week core is going to check, it's going to check for a specific set. You need to go to custom options. It's obviously not going to check for Mythic Plus. It's going to check for my raid setup. So now I click OK. And this is it. This is going to check for my raid. And it's going to give me a message. Check shards raid. And this is going to check for my mythic plus. And it's going to be only loaded when I'm in 5-man content. So now this reminder. Like as an example. We can go to M plus. We can remove the load. And this is going to load at all times. And it's going to check. Hey, check your shards. You don't have a Mythic Plus set available at the moment because I only have Raid set available. If I swap to Mythic Plus, the message disappears. So this is a little example of what the reminder is going to look like. Honestly, there's quite a few things that I could have included. There's another add-on called Narcissus, which is basically an add-on that provides like probably the most visually pleasing overview of your character pane, of your talents. And now it also includes this kind of shards or domination gear kind of visual indication of, hey, you have triple unholy and you have a blood and you have a frost shard equipped. In such a nice way, very similar to what corruption used to look like back in the day. But this add-on also has tons of other features. So this add-on has a lot of features from making your character paint look insanely nice to having a bit of a better indication for domination shares. Honestly, if you're looking for something like this, you're probably going to go with this add-on. But if you're looking for something very minimalistic, very simple, and you only need a domination kind of gear manager, domination socket helper is probably the way to go. So it really depends what are your needs. Let me know. And I'll see you in my next guide.